I got crazy and created PHP framework from absolutely scratch. Before I continue, I want to strictly highlight that it's not recommended to take the framework and use it on production. The only purpose of this framework is pure educational. I have built to give you some knowledge. Don't got as crazy as I got and don't use it on production. What's up guys, the code Tolik is here and welcome to my channel. On this channel I do coding tutorials and challenges as well as some tips, tricks and advices. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. Okay, let's have a look of what we are going to actually build. So we're going to build an MVC framework using PHP 7.4 which can be installed and used using Composer. And here are some of the features what we are going to use and what we are going to actually give our framework. That will be custom routing. We're going to install, we're going to have a core package and we're going to have an application package and we're going to install the core package using Composer. We're going to have controllers, views, models. We're going to implement the migration system. So we're going to have form widget classes, which will give us possibility to easily render forms, validate forms and give the user, uh, give the errors to the user. So we're going to uh, handle the request data and process the data to remove some malicious uh, characters from there. We're going to implement the validations. We're going to have registration and login with password encryption of course. So we're going to implement also simple active record uh, classes. So where the class basically is mapped to the database table. We're going to implement, we're going to work with sessions and implement session flash messages as well. We're going to have middlewares which will restrict the access to specific actions if the user is not authorized. And we're going to have application events as well. And finally, as I mentioned, we're going to have a reusable installable core which can be installed across many installations, many applications. And whenever the core is updated, we can simply update on all our installations. I want to highlight again that the purpose of this framework is pure educational. Even the core and everything, I just try to mimic how the real frameworks, how the most popular PHP frameworks are handling such kind of cases. And this will help you to understand how the Laravel, for example, works behind. Not fully, of course, because Laravel is under development for multiple years and the framework is done, this framework is done under several hours, but at least it will give you some idea how the frameworks are built, what is behind, so that this will be a good kickstart for you. If you are interested, you can just jump into, um, into your favorite framework, Laravel for example, and just uh, explore how it works behind. So. Here is our framework. We have controllers, as I mentioned, we have migrations, models, the public folder basically, which is the only web accessible folder. And the index.php is the entry script and everything starts from this index.php. And we have roads configured right here that whenever the URL looks like uh, the this register, post request, post method and register, the following controllers, the following action will be used. We have runtime where basically uh, all the user generated data goes. We have vendor and inside the vendor we have installed uh, two main packages and the others are just dependencies of these two packages. So we have Composer JSON, of course, with auto loading features. And these are the two packages vlucasphp.env. Inside the .env, we have the database uh, credentials. And we have also the Codeholic PHP MVC core, which is our core package, which we will see how we can register and how we can install using Composer and this will be basically a reusable core package for any installation of our uh, framework. And we're going to also see the second, um, second application of that core where we develop something and we, we easily um, install on, on another uh, website. So this is everything. We have views. Inside views we have layouts. 
and the most work basically is done inside the core if we just explore it very quickly we have the database classes we have some exceptions forms we middlewares but the main classes are application controller these are the base classes application controller modal request response rotor session uh, the user model and the view classes and everything this will be developed from scratch. I also want to highlight that the source code which is available on my GitHub might be slightly different from the code what you are watching while on, on the video. This is because I created this project uh, three times, I think, yeah. So first I created and recorded, then I decided that, hey, I just want to have a very good commit history on that uh, on that framework and I just didn't use that recording and I de developed the uh, same framework second time and making commits and pushing on my GitHub and th then the third time while I was recording the whole video and uh, every time basically when I if I just don't have a look at my second screen uh, I make slightly different so Every time I write the same project, I will write it slightly differently. And this is the same case. So that's why the code what you watch on the video might be slightly different from the code which is on my GitHub. That's totally fine because 95% will be the same. And from the core, even 99% will be the same. There might be some changes uh, in the, uh, for example, in the namings of the methods or in the namings of the application. One thing what I remember is different is that inside controllers, right? Right here I have about controller and side controller but in the video when I develop this I have out controller and side controller and you will basically understand every single detail you will find the differences because everything is explained I think very clearly I am very very curious about your opinion and definitely let me know in the comment section what you think am I too crazy to start my own framework actually I'm not going to uh, like develop this and compete to any other frameworks as I mentioned um, I'm teaching in, in university and I developed um, some basic framework there and I decided to make it also available for others so that's why I developed it uh, for you to give you some education so that you can have at least basic idea how the MVC frameworks work behind so I think I should stop talking and let's immediately jump into the video and before we start just hit the like button and share this video if you enjoy if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe and the bell buttons